All right, folks, so today on the channel, we're going to be taking a look at the process of converting GameCube ISO files to the compressed NKIT GCZ file format. The process of converting GameCube ISO files to GCZ is pretty straightforward, and it will save you a fair bit of storage space. So let's head over to the PC and take a look at how it's done. The first thing you'll need are some game files to convert, and for this video, you'll see I've got a couple of GameCube ISO files on the left-hand side of my desktop. Next, we're going to need some software to convert the files, and for this, we're going to be using NKIT 1.4. So let's head over to GBA Temp, and we're going to grab a copy of NKIT 1.4 just by clicking the orange download button right here. Once the file's done downloading, head over to wherever your files download to and open up the zip file. Next, we're going to create a new folder on the desktop just by right clicking and selecting New, and then Folder. Name the folder NKIT. Next, select all the files in the zip folder and drag them over to the new NKIT folder you just created on your desktop to extract them. Once the files are done extracting, open the NKIT folder. Inside the NKIT folder, you'll see an .exe file named NKIT Processing App. Double-click the file to run, and you'll see the app open. Next, click and drag the games you want to compress into the source window. Once you've added all the games that you want to convert, click on the Select Mode drop down and select Convert to NKIT GCZ. Next, click on the Process button to start the conversion process. This will take a minute or two to process, but just wait until the process completes, and once it's done, close the program by clicking the red X in the top right hand corner. To locate the files you've just created, open up the NKIT folder. Click on the Processed folder, and then open up the GameCube underscore match fail folder. There we go. You'll see that the file names have been modified from what they originally were, so if you want to rename them, you can do that now, just by clicking on the file once, and then renaming it. So now we have the new compressed GCZ files. Let's take a quick look and see how much space we've saved. Results will vary depending on the game. But in this case, with the three games that we just converted, you can see that the results are pretty dramatic, with a savings of just over 2 gig. Not too bad for a couple minutes work. So that's the quick guide on how to convert your GameCube ISO files to the compressed GCZ format with NKIT. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.